Welcome back. All right, look, there's vital organs in the body, and then there's the vital organ in the body with a big job. Your entire body is relying on your heart to function properly. And joining us now is Dr. Garris, is an interventional cardiologist at St. Vincent's. It's good to see you again. Well, thanks. glad to be here. It's great. Thanks for coming back. We were yeah, just talking in the commercial break um, that, you know, I had a friend who had no symptoms whatsoever, and all of a sudden a racing pulse and rushed to the hospital and was having a, a cardiac case. And we were talking every 40 seconds in the United States, somebody is having some sort of a cardiac, I mean, this is just how prevalent that people are having problems, I guess, with, with this yeah. vital organ that's doing so much. Absolutely, it's the number one cause of illness and death in the United States and the world. So we like to increase awareness, trying to help people before something bad happens. And if something bad does happen, we wanna take care of it as quickly as possible. So that's the goal. Sure. And one of the things you were talking about is there's a term that you wanna get everyone understanding and knowing, it's structural heart. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for saying that. Structural heart disease is a new term. We want everybody to be familiar with it. You know, everybody's used to dealing with coronary arteries or the electrical system of the heart, heart rhythms, but this is the biggest, newest expanding field in heart disease. What it means is we're taking care of the structure of the heart itself, the valves, any holes in the heart, any part of the heart structure. This is expanding because now we can fix most of this through just a little needle stick through the leg instead of open heart surgery, big complex procedures. So this is an amazing advance and it's going to continue to get better and better as we go forward. So how do you know if you have a problem now with your structural heart? Are there warning signs and symptoms to know that you might have to have this procedure now done through your leg, which is amazing? Yeah, so th there's many different symptoms that one can have. Sometimes we treat things before symptoms, but I would focus on the standard shortness of breath, fatigue, not able to do things, and seeing your heart doctor or seeing your regular doctor. Then they may find out you have a mitral valve problem or aortic valve problem, or sometimes patients with rhythm disturbance, we can put a device in their heart to get rid of blood thinners so they don't have to take blood thinners for the rest of their life. We can put a little plug in the heart where the clots would form and that doesn't happen. So uh, you have to see your doctor different modalities, explain to them their symptoms, but be aware that there are things that can be done uh, to replace blood thinners, to avoid open heart surgery. This is what we want to teach everyone that there are different options and we want everybody to seek those options. Yeah, you're just talking about some of the treatments that are available. So all of those treatments, you're saying like the plug in there and everything is going basically laparoscopic. Is, yeah. is it laparoscopic? No, it no, lapros even less than that. So just an, you, most of this can be done through the through the artery or the vein in your leg, uh, and going up with the catheters wow. and the tubes into the heart, and then we deal with the problem as it is. So different problems deal require different activities, but most of this can be done uh, with a needle stick and a catheter, and patients can go home the next day versus. A the complex other procedures that that's, we used to do. That's amazing because yeah, you said open heart where you're, I mean, it's graphic cracking and, yeah, and open yeah. the whole thing up and the recovery on that is so much longer. So for patients, this is for life changing. The, for the appropriate patients, yes. We always want to make sure we're dealing with the patients appropriately. In some cases, in many cases, open heart sur surgery is the preferred approach. But for many patients, we do have these options that we want to discuss. We want to teach the community and everyone else that we have this available and we're happy to give second opinions or discuss that with all the patients to be able to help them. And this is all part of St. Vincent's structural heart program, right? Yes. You have whole program built around this. Yes, so what we take pride in is we've always been uh, the first, the most advanced, but we also take pride in we have a good team. We work together. Uh, it's not just about me or the next guy, our next guy, our cardiovascular surgeons, our electrophysiologists, our interventional cardiologists, everybody works together. We discuss all these cases in conference and we present the patient what we think is best for them. So we're very proud of that. And you, you mentioned it there that some patients may have gotten an opinion from somewhere that, hey, you need to have open heart surgery. Sure. And this is something that you, they should come and check, get a second opinion to see maybe yep. they don't have to do the whole majorly invasive. Absolutely. It's not for everyone, but we're certainly happy to discuss it with the appropriate patients. Not everybody's aware that these things are available, and sometimes your doctor may not be even aware that we provide some of these things. We've had patients that were sent to, uh, you know, Cleveland Clinic or Mayo Clinic. Well, a lot of this can be taken care of here in Jacksonville. So we want everybody to know that this is available, and we're happy to discuss it with all those patients. So good to see you again. Thanks for being it's here. Great, and taking great, the time great away to from, be I know here. you got to get back to work. Back yeah, to see patients, it's so. great to be here. Thank Good little you. break in the afternoon. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being here. And we want to thank St. Vincent's Healthcare for sponsoring this segment. For more information about the Structural Heart Program or to schedule an appointment, visit jackshealth.com forward slash team.